Hello, everybody. Um, anyone who's watching this right now, um, my name's Mason, and uh, you probably don't know who I am. I'm just some average Joe, just trying to live his life, you know, wake up, go to work, work all day, do my best, come home, sleep. Um, I have, however, been on a few uh, The Cracked Brain YouTube videos, so if you do recognize me, it might be from that, or um, just being a local goofball. Um, but yeah, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, first time, <laughs> a little nervous. Um, but I came to talk to you guys today about something that I personally find very important. Um, on um, November 22nd of this year, I heard a rumor that uh, our internet was going down the toilet, and I had no idea what that meant. I, I didn't know, understand. I didn't even begin to know why. I just had a bunch of rumors. Um, so I decided to find out why, um, so I did some research, um, I, I even ended up emailing, um, my Utah editor, Mike Lee, um, Mia Love, sorry, you can't see my hand, Mia Love, uh, I called the FCC themselves, um, and I just, I went all over the internet just trying to figure out what it meant when um, our internet was going down the toilet. I just... Um, and when I did call the FCC, they were very nice, they were very compliant. That's not the word I meant. Uh, they were very helpful, and they gave me the actual legal document on net neutrality. Um, sorry dog um, and I didn't even know what that was net neutrality um, anyway so I spent just forever reading it it was at least a week or it, it felt longer <laughs> just every night coming home just reading away all this I mean gosh felt like I was trying to decipher ancient Egyptian to be honest. Um, oh, it looks like uh, Mike joined. Hey, Mike. Um, and I just want to say this right now. Uh, my Right now, I'm doing this over Facebook Live, but later, I have some friends, the Cracked Brain YouTube channel, have agreed to upload this on there. So whether or not you're watching it from there, or uh, Facebook, you know, I'm trying to comply for both. Um, so, net neutrality. Um, what it basically means is that it's, it's our freedom to do whatever we want on the internet. And, of course, there's certain rules, like I can't look up illegal things but it what it basically means is that net service providers um, or broadband service providers have to treat every website equally whether they want to or not um, for example Comcast Verizon they have to when I go onto my internet there it's almost like they're the gate into a garden, which is the internet, and I have to get through the gate to get into the garden. But they have to treat the entire garden equally. So I could go on to Amazon, or I could go on to the Rooster Teeth shopping store. No matter how much Amazon would prefer I shop there, or eBay, or whatever, they have to treat everything equally. Um, 
that's that's basically what it means. Um, sorry, I wrote a little script just for my first time. A little nervous. Um, so, what the problem here lies is that what happened was in 2008, um, Comcast actually, um, <clears throat> they actually started taking away people's net neutrality in secret. Uh, they, they did it under the table, you could say. I don't think I used that, right? But they did it without the government's permission. They, what they started doing, um, <laughs> of course, I can't find any of my notes now. Um, I just wish I had the actual uh, word for word what the document said. Um, uh, I think what it said was they started seriously depleting people's internet freedoms. So, oh, here we go. What it said word for word, in 2008, Comcast started significantly de depleting, depleting customers' ability to access content and use applications of their choice. Um, and all of this started because of subscriptions. So when you go on to YouTube or... I'm trying to figure out how to put this. So Verizon... Um, they could have a Verizon email account. Let's say it's Vmail. That's not right. It's Verizon Mail. Okay. What most people will do is they won't use that Verizon email, even though it comes included with their package in order to access the internet. What most people will do is go with a third party, such as... Um, Gmail account. So personally, I don't do. I do that. I don't use Verizon Mail. I use Gmail. So what Comcast was doing was they were basically making people. What they can do is they can see. You can't see it. They can see me trying to access my Gmail, and then they say, "Oh, Mason wants access to his Gmail, but we want him to use our." Verizon mail or our Comcast mail. So we'll just redirect it to Comcast mail and then make it so that I can never use Gmail. Essentially, that's what they can do with with the net neutrality laws taking out. Now, this technically means that I could go to the library and just get on my Gmail there. Yes, that I couldn't do that. Um, but just all sorts of these kind of things. So anyway, Comcast started doing that. And, um, President Obama was like, you can't do that. That's against net neutrality law. We have in place here. And so what he did was he, um, he said in this, um, Sorry, I'm kind of nervous. I got my notes everywhere. Because um, another thing you have to keep in mind is that our internet is technically considered a telecommunications act. Okay, so technically speaking, I'm using telecommunications to do this live video right now, or a recorded video, depending on how you watch this. Um, and Mr. Ajit Pai, and I know I'm saying that wrong, uh, so I'm just going to say Pai, uh, Mr. Pai, who is the FCC chairman, one of the things he wants to do, including taking away net neutrality, is adding it as an information service, which changing it from telecommunications, which is our kind of, in a sense, freedom of speech, changing it to an information then makes it so that people can now choose 
what they like you to see, what they don't want you to see, um, stuff like that. So anyway, sorry, back to the story. So they, President Obama said in this act of the Telecommunications Act, um, he established a no blocking and no unreasonable discrimination rule, which pretty much says, don't do it. Don't don't redirect people. Don't block people for any good reason, right? Um, but what ended up happening is that Verizon started really fighting this. Um, and the D.C. Circuit, which is the District of Columbia, um, started finding problems with this. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of the main thing Mr. Pi is changing. Okay, that's that's kind of the main subject he's changing, right? Is the whole um, this whole no unreasonable discrimination and no blocking. Right? Um, that's kind of what this whole thing's revolved around. Uh, so anyway, um, <clears throat> so so one of the big problems with it, um, with some of you may be asking, well, why is it a telecommunications service, right? Uh, why isn't it already an information service? Well, that is all revolved around this big question. Um, so the internet um, offers information services. That's an obvious yes. But the internet service providers do not. And that's the problem. You see, the, the entire... The internet service providers don't provide everything on the internet. They only let you get access into the internet, and then everything on the internet is more third party. And that's somewhat of the problem. Um, that's, part of the, that's part of the problem right there, is that internet service providers, like I said, want you to use their subscriptions to their emails or their web viewing, web browsing, or whatever it may be. Um, so part of the problem, yeah, that's kind of where this whole thing is revolving around right there, is that question. Um, and I, I wrote up a little example here, um, just, just to, to really nail in what this actually means, okay? Because... This now basically means that your internet service provider can do whatever they want with your ability to be on the internet. That's basically what this means. That's what this whole thing means. Um, so let's say... Um, so sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still nervous. So let's say that you have a friend um, or son or whoever who, for Christmas, because it's around the holiday season, uh, um, asks you for some, some um, T-shirt from some show called Ruby from some weird website called Rooster Teeth. And you, you have no idea what that means, okay? But you just want to make him happy, and you just, you know, you just want to be helpful, right? So he sends you a link, and you're like, okay, I'll just get it on my lunch break. So lunch comes around, you click on the link, and part of prioritizing the internet means that, say... Say Amazon goes to 
Nev Ryzen and says, hey, we will give you an extra $50 if anytime someone tries to shop somewhere, you prioritize them to Amazon. Okay? They'll say, okay. So here you are trying to go onto Rooster Teeth, and it keeps directing you to Amazon. Okay, you can't even access the website. Or, for example, um, we'll assume that Amazon is 50%, sorry, 50 more popular than Rooster Teeth, which means that they'll prioritize it 50% more, making Rooster Teeth 50, suffer 50% more. Okay, that means that when you click on the link, you could be sitting there waiting for 10, 15, 20, maybe even an hour, just waiting for this website to load. Just sitting there, watching that little circle all day long. And they can do that. They absolutely can do that with net neutrality gone. Um, so anyway, it finally loads. Okay, and your lunch is over by now. You've had to take an extra break just because the stupid thing won't load. So it loads, and then, but you don't get a website. You get this weird note, and it says, "We're sorry, you need you haven't paid for your shopping package. You need to pay an extra fifteen dollars to view this website." Yep. After an hour of waiting, now you have to pay $15 just to view the website because of your dumb internet plan. Yep. That that right there is exactly what the internet's going to turn into. And um, Pi knows this. Ajit Pai, he knows this. But um, I've looked at a few interviews with him and a few blogs about him and stuff like that. And he... He says he has faith in internet service providers not to do this, okay? Um, and you can too. You can be faithful and say you, they won't do that. But I don't have faith in them because the entire reason this whole thing started was because Comcast was doing this. Like, that's the entire reason that this whole thing started. The whole reason um, President Obama, or president at the time, made this whole no blocking, no unreasonable filtering was because Comcast was doing this. So if they take it away, why would he have faith that they won't do it again? Um, I mean, there's this YouTuber named Markiplier, and I, I don't exactly understand how this description works here. So I'm going to hopefully try to put all these links I used for all these blogs, the FCC official report, everything in the YouTube description, in the Facebook description, once I figure out how to do it. Um, but he said, but he gave a good example. It's kind of like how everyone has to pay for water, right? But you'll just get horrible, murky water that might kill you if you drink it. But for an extra twenty dollars, you can get water that won't kill you. Like that's that's exactly what the internet's going to turn into. You can access the internet, but it's just going to be murky water that you can't drink. Which reminds me, I'm kind of thirsty now. All this talking. Wow, I've been doing this for almost twenty minutes. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Right, one minute here. Um. Anyway, that's exactly what the internet's going to turn into. Um, and, uh, you see, I contacted um, the senators, and um, they, and I saw, I saw this everywhere, which I don't quite understand. Um, let me, so, let me tell you what he said. Internet, in, in, bleh, sorry. Internet innovation and investment has suffered under, heav under the heavily burdened Title II regulations, which is the no, um, the thing Obama did. 
In fact, the FCC has noted that the Title II regulations have slowed broadband deployment and hampered the FCC's effort to close the digital, di di the digital divide. According to the FCC, the Title II regulations have not only hurt smaller internet providers, I internet ISP, if you see that, that's what it means, the ability to receive investment, hereby hindering market com competition, competition, <clears throat> but even among the nation's 12 largest internet service providers, domestic broadband cap capital exp expenditures <clears throat> decreased by 5.6%, which equals to about $3.6 billion in the past two years. Which supposedly, from my understanding, the no blocking rule has somehow made internet service providers lose $3.6 billion in two years. Which I'm not saying that's not true, but everywhere I've looked, I haven't been able to see why. I haven't been able to actually find the reason of how them being fair to every website is making them lose money and especially that large of a scale that seems a little fishy but even if we assume that that is right true um why are they concerned so much about losing people's jobs i mean according to the the um email it says not only losing money, but uh, um, in the actual email itself, it talked about losing jobs. Um, um, nah, stop it, you. Hold on here. Sorry. Uh... Okay, I'm not seeing. Sorry, I'm trying to make this fast for you because I know you guys are busy and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this, whether recorded later or watching it live. But it did say somewhere about them losing jobs and stuff. Um, but that just never made sense to me because... Like, if the internet isn't free and open, they're not, they're not considering how many jobs other people are going to be losing. I mean, maybe I'm just on the internet too much, and that's, that's entirely possible. But they're not considering, like, how many YouTubers and Twitch streamers are going to lose their jobs because people can't just watch them for free how many voice actors put their voices out there on YouTube and on Twitch and all those other kinds of websites um, you know and how many animators and how many how many storytellers how many you know novelists and like there's all these people and this is just at the top of my head this isn't even like you know these this isn't even talking about all their editors and all of their, just all this stuff, you know, this isn't, like, he talks about all these people losing money and jobs, but he doesn't care about, I mean, there are stores that you can't even shop from without the internet. You can't even shop from without the internet. Like, like example, that Rooster Teeth thing I was talking about. That was a company started by four people and the open internet. And now if you look at them, they've got a million dollar company. They've got physical stores. They have like, they have so many shows. I can't even name them. And like 20 of them are actually animated by professional artists and professional animators and voice actors. Like that is a real company that only exists because of the free open internet. What's going to happen to all of them? You know? I don't know. I don't honestly know. Um, 
I did want to mention real quick here before we go much further that if you see a lot of people blaming Verizon, um, the reason for that is because uh, not only was Verizon the main people fighting um, once the once the no blocking uh, act was in um, play after Obama, but on top of that, um, Ajit Pai actually worked for Verizon, and then he left Verizon to go work for the FCC, and then when Donald Trump became president, he hired Ajit to be the chairman, or Pai, sorry, Pai to be the, the chairman, and then the and then he goes and takes away net neutrality. So there's a big theory about, you know, Verizon going to pay Ajit and all this other stuff. Um, oh, is someone... Oh, thanks, Stefan. <laughs> uh, or Stefan, sorry. Uh, just reading chat for any of you. Who don't know? Um, Stefan is the uh, the 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 head of Cracked Brain. The yeah, he's the he's one of the guys who agreed to uh, let me post this later. Which thank you so much if you're still watching. Uh, thank you to Brandon and thank you all the people of Cracked Brain. I really appreciate it. Um. So. And, um, like I said, I'm going to try to figure out how to put in all these, um, links and stuff, and, uh, you know, there's things about finding your senator and emailing and calling them, and, um, calling the chairman, Mr. Pai, and the commissioner, McNong Claiborne, Michelle O'Reilly, Brandon Carr, just all of them, um... Um, I did post on Facebook earlier, which I'll post again, about one thing you can do is um, you can go onto your computer and you can actually fill out a official record uh, on the FCC about, um, um, about how you feel about net neutrality. And they can, they'll actually use that in court when they go to vote on this on December 14th. Um, that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this now, to give anyone who may or may not be watching time to do something, if they want to. Um, um, and you actually have to do it on your computer. Uh, they did that on purpose. They don't want people doing it on their phone just because it's easy, you know, just bleh, done. But the people who actually care will show they care by going through all the steps of turning on the computer and going to the website and all that. I'll, I'll figure out some way to repost that. Um, and I got the, the links for the blogs I used and um, the YouTubers I watched. Um, sorry, I, I put down so many notes and I wanted to talk about all this, but now I'm sitting here kind of wondering if what is good to talk about and what's not because I don't want to waste your time. It's already been a half hour. Um, I'm also nervous. Uh, um, So, so <laughs> when people talk about neutrality, I, I think I should mention this real quick. Um, for the looks like four people who are on, uh, Mike, Alex, Sinia, sorry, I can't read, and Stefan. Um, sorry, that's my timer, so I know. I don't want crack brain, brain to have to edit too much of this video. Um, it keeps talking about Title II of, of um, the net neutrality, and I feel like I should talk about that real quick. 
So another part of the of the problem here is Susie, sorry, dog. Is so what it basically means is you have internet service providers, Comcast, Verizon, Xfinity, blah. And when you go on to Facebook a lot, okay, you store up cash in your computer. Which basically means that it makes it lets the computer pick up the data faster for Facebook. It makes it load faster, makes it easier to access, blah 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 blah. Um but your company or your internet service provider actually has to store that cash. So you know, a lot of times, I mean just depending on circumstances. So so Xfinity has to store some of Google's data, even though it doesn't belong to them. And so because of that, they have to charge edge providers. So an edge provider would be like Google. So Xfinity has to charge Google for holding their their stuff. Ah, sorry, my nose itches. Must be allergies. Um, also, I'm sorry about the mic. My computer's... Mike is not super great here. Um, <clears throat> but what Title II means is that they charge everything equally, right? Um, but if they take that away, then Google can give them more money to let them, you know, purposely push people that direction. Oh, hello, Riley. Um... So, like I said, you know, if you want to go shop on eBay, but Amazon gives Verizon more money to be able to do whatever, then they will send you to Amazon instead. And then if you do end up going back to eBay, it could take forever because of the, the whole popularity thing I was talking about. Um... Sorry, Riley, you're a little uh, late. I don't mean to... Uh... Yeah. Anyway, so... Since I only have one person watching, but there's a good four people. Five. Four. I don't know how that works. Anyway. So... And then we... And how I talked about... And those charges, might I add, they can charge you for anything for any reason. So, like I was saying, I watch a lot of YouTube, right? So I watch Game Grumps, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, Super Mega, Cracked Brain, um, Crank Gameplays, Nate Wants to Battle, Emily, I could go on all day, Brett Ultimus, Dookie Shed, um, dogs. So YouTube or my internet service provider I'm so sorry. My internet service provider can see oh M Mason is watching Jacksepticeye every day at this time or Game Grumps or whatever. So one day I can go on it and it'll say, Hey, you need to now pay ten dollars a month every day. I'm so sorry. Hold on one second here. All right. Sorry about that, brother. Got home. Anyway, so as I was saying, they can see that I watched this video every day at this time or whatever and they can start to charge me for it so every day you know they can, one day I can just be watching and then all of a sudden a page pops up saying hey you now need to pay ten dollars a month to watch any game grumps videos or Jacksepticeye or whatever um but that yeah so that's a kind of a problem too 
And they can do it with anything for any reason, you know. Hey, we notice you like to shop on Amazon a lot. You now have to pay $10 a month just to access this website. Or, I don't know. Um, anyway. So, what this also means, though, is not only are they allowed to do whatever they want with your ability to go on the internet, but they are also allowed to do whatever with your history and your, your, so for, for, so for example, everything you've looked at using your internet service provider is now their property. I mean, it always was, but they couldn't do anything with it. But now they can do whatever. So now they could take all of that and sell it to Amazon. And then Amazon could make ads about it. They can say, oh, you, you, we noticed you like, you've looked up cat videos a lot. Here, you know, here's some link to some cat videos or, or here's a sweater for a cat or, I, I think you get the idea. And they can do whatever. I mean, they could post it on Facebook if they wanted. They could be like, hey, Mason looked up Barbie dolls. Ha. Huh. <laughs> and I don't know. Maybe I did it for my little sister. Maybe I did it. And it doesn't matter. You know? Or at least it didn't before. But anyway. But they can do it for anything, for any reason. So that's uh, that's what's going to happen to the internet, and it's, in my opinion, it's going to die. Essentially, essentially, because of it, because if the internet's not open and free, then you can't go anywhere or do anything, and you can't post or anything. Just because, like I said, if everyone gets charged to watch or go on to Rooster Teeth and then no one starts going on there because they have to get charged, then Rooster Teeth could go out of business. And then if they go out of business, you know, just like that. So if you don't want to do anything, that's fine. You know, I have I have quite a few friends who don't care or they don't believe or whatever so I have one piece of advice for you if you're not going to do anything or you don't want to do anything or you just feel like you can't my one piece of advice is enjoy the internet now joy now Go watch all the shows you've always wanted. Go, you know, download all the music you've always wanted. Because, like, I mean, because of this, you know, Apple and Google are going to start charging you for your cloud stuff. So all my music I have just stored, I'm not even using it, just stored, they're going to charge me for it, and if I don't want to be charged, then they're just going to get rid of it. Um, and all of you naughty, naughty people out there who watch stuff illegally, you know, now I'll, or download books illegally or do any of that, that's all, all going to be monitored, and you're not going to do that anymore. Which, that's probably a good thing, to be honest. They're probably the only good thing out of all of this, but... Anyway, just do everything you want to do now. And that's what I'm doing, actually. I've always wanted to do stuff like this. I always wanted a big fan base, and I, I always wanted to know what it was like to be an idiot online and record videos and... You know, get feedback from from chat. Where's my arm? From chat. 
you know, go to conventions and people buying my shirts and stuff, just, you know. Um, I don't know. Have, I've just, I've always wanted to do stuff like this, but I'm scared that I'll no longer be able to. With this whole net neutrality thing dying, I'll no longer be able to do this. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm I'm having the small taste of the dream that I'm saying goodbye to the, to the dream I never even got to say hello to, essentially, is what I'm doing. And I I just want to tell you guys to do the same thing, you know? If you, if you have any music on Google or iTunes, I'd recommend putting it on flash drives or CDs because they might start charging you for everything you have on a, saved on a cloud. I would recommend calling up all your chairman and your representatives, your senator, especially, or I meant to say commission, but your chair, the chairman of the FCC, Ajit Pai, I would, yeah. Um, anyway, I guess that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, Uncle Miguel. Um, you, you got here at the last second. <laughs> uh, I was planning on just wrapping up here. But, yeah, I'm not... 100% sure how to do this. Um, I hope I, I hope I talked about everything I wanted to here. Um, I should also mention that um, Miguel, um, his books are great. <laughs> I like reading them and stuff. You can check him out if you want to. Um, Let's see here. And again, I'll try to find a way to uh, post those links and stuff. If any of you have any advice on how to do that, I'd really appreciate it. And I don't know how to do it with a YouTube video if you're watching this later. Um, um, Anyway, all right, I think I talked about everything. Sorry if I didn't. Sorry if I missed something. Um, I've been researching this for what feels like weeks. Um, anyway, thank you again, Stefan and uh, Brandon. If you're watching this, thank you to everyone who watched. Um, hopefully, if you want to watch this later, or uh, you can go on to the Cracked Brain YouTube channel. Um, they should be posting it there real soon. Um, thank you guys so much, and if everything works out, then I hope I get to do this again. Bye.